gender equality plans in technical universities and the use of logic models. Technical universities have introduced gender equality plans to address persisting gender inequalities. Though, how can we know whether gender equality plans create the intended effects in technical universities? Logic models helps you to identify inconsistencies in areas you want your gender equality plan to create effects in. You can use logic models to assess, in retrospect, whether the gender equality plan has worked as intended. Logic models offers a simplified visual of linear cause-effect relations of your gender equality plan. They visualize which measures are expected to bring about which results. Thus, logic models can help you to get a better understanding of cause-effect relationships between implemented gender equality measures and their impacts. So, how does this work exactly? Before logic models can be used in a meaningful way, five requirements must be fulfilled. One, first of all, you identify the specific gender inequalities at your technical university the gender equality plan addresses, such as barriers to the recruitment and career development of female researchers. Two, you define specific, measurable, achievable, result-orientated and time-bound objectives on how to tackle the identified gender inequalities at your technical university. For example, to increase the share of female researchers by 10% in three years. Three, you develop a gender equality plan, including concrete gender equality measures aimed at achieving the set objectives at your technical university. Gender equality measures could include a mentoring program for female early career researchers, or a gender bias training for members of a recruitment committee. Four, you define the financial and staff resources needed to implement the planned gender equality measures. For example, a budget for gender equality measures of 15,000 euros per year, plus one full-time equivalent staff for three years. Five, you implement the planned gender equality measures. Once these five requirements are fulfilled, you can either create one logic model for your full gender equality plan or create logic models for different thematic areas the gender equality plan addresses, such as recruitment and career development of female researchers. The following example of a logic model will focus on this thematic area. To create a logic model, you need to take the following steps. One, First of all, fill in the logic model pillars designated for the input and activities. In our example, the input would be the yearly budget of €15,000 and the full-time equivalent staff for three years. The implemented activities consist of a mentoring program for female early career researchers and a gender bias training for members of recruitment committees. Two, define the tangible outputs of the gender equality measures. Output should include the number of mentoring workshops, number of mentees enrolled, number of gender bias trainings or satisfaction level of the gender bias training and other data that demonstrates what has been done. 3. Define the expected short-term outcomes of the measures. Outcomes could include a description of skills for career advancement of the participating mentees and increased awareness of gender bias of training participants. 4. Define long-term impacts of the measures. Impacts could include an increased career opportunity of former mentees and a reduction of gender bias in recruitment processes and career development of female researchers. As you can see, logic models visualize the linear contribution of implemented gender equality measures and their intended impact. You can use logic models to retrospectively assess whether the components or the full gender equality plan worked as intended or not. So don't wait, start your own logic model for your gender equality plan.